Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you what to do if your laptop is very slow after formatting and how to fix it in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to clear the Windows cache. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Disk Cleanup and select it as an app from the search result. Now in here, select the main drive, which is C drive in our case, then click on OK. Now what you have to do in here is tick the box next to pretty much all the options in here and afterwards click on OK to start the cleaning process. Afterwards, you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run the check this command. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, simply copy paste the following command that I posted in the description below, then press on enter. Now just wait a bit until this will be finished, then restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to restart the sysmain service. To do this, press the Windows button, type in services, then select it as an application from the search results. And now in the services window, make sure to scroll way down until you find the sysmain service, right click on it and select the restart option. You can also double click on it if you want to and select the startup type to automatic then click on apply and ok to save the changes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next you can also perform a clean boot. To do this press the windows button then simply type MN's config and select system configuration from the search results. Now in here click on the services tab, tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services and then click on the disable all button. Now the next move you have to do is head over to the startup tab, then click on open task manager. In here disable all the unnecessary apps, then close this window, click on apply and ok to save the changes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to run an SFC and DISM scan. To do this press the windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here in the command prompt window, copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but copy each command one by one, then press on enter after each command. Just wait until the scans will be finished, so don't lose your patience. Afterwards restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.